Okay, now we come to the general licensing agreement for Joomla. We want to go ahead and accept it by clicking Next. This next screen is the MySQL database configuration screen, and this is where we configure how our Joomla system is going to interact with our MySQL database. However, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create the database first. So we want to do that by going over to HTTP localhost and then scrolling down to PHP MyAdmin. Now PHP, PHP MyAdmin is one of the most commonly used uh, systems for interacting with your MySQL database. Uh, there's many other systems out there but you'll probably find this on almost every web host that you go to and allows for you to make changes to the MySQL database without actually having go to go to the command prompt. So when we click on databases here we see there's two databases. Um, we want to go ahead and create our very own database and we do that by scrolling down here and typing in the name that we, of the database that we want to create. In our case we're going to call it Joomla. Okay, so now we see that the da database Joomla has been created and if we drop down this menu we see that it indeed it has. So now we can go back to our MySQL database configuration screen and input the details for our database. The host name is almost always localhost and the username is root and the password is blank. Uh, now that's not always going to be the case, especially when you're uploading your final finished website to your hosting company. You're going to have a username and a password that they're going to provide you with. But in our case, since we're running this server locally using WAMP, our username is going to be root and our MySQL password is going to be blank. We want to go ahead and type in the database name that we just created, Joomla and we want to leave install sample data as checked so that we can actually play around with some of the Joomla features and really see their power. Okay, now we just have to name our site and we're going to call our site Joomla Store. We're going to go ahead and click Next. Okay, now we've come to step three, the last step in the Joomla installation process. And as you can see, our URL and path have already been entered for us. We just have to enter our email. And we want to erase the password that is provided and change it with something simple like admin. We're going to leave the file permissions as they are and select next. Okay, we're at step four, the last step in the Joomla installation process and the last thing that we need to do is remove the Joomla installation directory and so we browse to C WAMP www Joomla and select installation and make sure that we delete that. As you can see, our username is admin and password, and our directory has been deleted. So now we can go ahead and click View Site. Okay, we're at step four, the last step in the Joomla installation process. And the last thing that we need to do is remove the Joomla installation directory. And so we browse to C WAMP www Joomla and select Installation and make sure that we delete that. As you can see our username is admin and password and our directory has been deleted so now we can go ahead and click view site. 